Hi, this is Pat from Associated Siding and Remodeling. Today we're going to look at how you do a bathroom if you're a little bit picky. This is the original doors to the home. They were just hollow core smooth doors. This is the doors we went with. This is a six panel oak door. Got solid oak trim and have solid oak door jams, which is a little unusual in 2015. This stuff is all made of solid oak. Lasts a long time. This is a custom made solid oak cabinet, vanity. Got melamine finish on the inside of the drawers, which is a kind of a white vinyl material that holds up real well, looks nice and clean. Yet doors don't slam shut, they're like self shutting. Now that baby just shuts like that. Got a solid granite countertop, pretty sporty, everybody loves granite. If you're a little picky, you run your tile first, then you run the granite countertop up to the tile, you got no backsplash. If I ever want to change this vanity and this countertop, I'm able to do that, change them out. And a lot of times you'll set that first and then tile around it, it doesn't work out very well. This mirror just is a framed mirror that hangs on the wall. It's not a glued to the wall mirror like a lot of them are day, nowadays and then they tile around them. So if we want to change this mirror, we can change it. Got your bull nose on the top around the uh, perimeter of the room with the tile. Okay, a lot of people will put the wood trim on first, tile down to it. We left a gap between the tile and the floor. We put a wood spacer back there so we could nail and then we put our wood trim on top of the tile. So if you ever want to put different wood trim, you want to change it, you can. You're not locked in. This is a cast iron 400 pound deep tub. Uh, deep tubs are a little unusual. The plumber said, well, you don't see too many of those, but if you're wanting your wife to be happy sitting in the tub soaking, she likes that. The uh, spout there is a seven and a quarter long spout, which gets you way out into the tub and it makes it nice. You see the long here on the bottom, you don't see any caulking, you don't see any grout because the silicone caulking is up behind that tile and there ain't no way it's ever going to leak, but it also isn't ever going to crack and the grout's not going to crack. Where the tile meets the tub down here on the floor, same thing. You, you put grout in there, it's guaranteed to crack. You put caulking, looks like crap. That's caulked all underneath it, and never going to leak. Let me see. We got your brush nickel matching towel racks. Toilet paper hangers, all the fixtures, the lights, the lights up here, all that, it all matches. Uh, we put a new vinyl window in here. It's kind of sunny out today, so it's a little hard to uh, get a good shot of that, but it's all solid custom oak trim. Um, they don't do this. This is kind of old school, but this is my house, so. It looks nice. So we got that, we got that. Uh, this floor we tiled over the existing tile floor. It's kind of a process, but it's possible to do as long as you have a floor that's stable and uh, not worried about tile coming up or having it be loose. Okay, that's kind of this bathroom. Well, I guess. Now that I think about it, we had to re-slap texture the ceiling and straighten it out and get it where it's all pretty. Uh, we painted the walls. I'm just going to go in this other bathroom and we'll look at this uh, shower surround that we put in here. Here again, this is a different bathroom. You see the tile was put on. The vanity was set afterwards, the vanity top was set afterwards. If you ever want to change it, you're able to do that. 
here again where the if I can find my finger where here where this meets the shower surround you don't see any caulking you don't see any grout not gonna crack because it's not there but the caulking behind there where it's not ever gonna fail this was a really nice shower surround that we did 